Charles Blair McDonald was born in the shadow of Niagara Falls, and that might tell you something about him, because like the Great Falls, CB was a source of enormous energy, relentless, forceful, and loud. The late golf writer, Charlie Price, wrote of him, he was so rugged in his thinking that he probably wore tweed knickerbockers without any underwear. We can only hope that that was an exaggeration, or maybe not. But it's no exaggeration to say that McDonald, more than anyone else, shaped the early days of American golf. He insisted that this new game in his young, innovative country remain faithful to its centuries-old Scottish customs and form. And it's no exaggeration to say that if it weren't for him, golf in America could have wandered off in any direction becoming perhaps something dissimilar like baseball and cricket. Now, in the case of golf, that would not have been a good thing. I'm sorry for those who like cricket, but I'm a lover of, of the game of golf. But to continue, by taking his stand, McDonald set the marker for making game, the game of golf a global game with shared values, whether you're playing it in St. Andrews Sydney, Syracuse, or Seoul. It's factual to say of McDonald that he was the driving force behind the creation of the United States Golf Association, and that he was the first United States amateur champion, and that he was the first great American golf course architect. But he was so much more. He came along when American golf needed him most, ensuring that the game started out on the right path and that it stayed there. Induction into the World Golf Hall of Fame is an exclusive honor, and it's reassuring to know that, life's, that the life's work of a 19th century man whose influence on our game remains very much alive today is not forgotten. Charles Blair McDonald, like each of the other five members of the class of 2007, deserves his place in the Hall of Fame, and I feel privileged to represent him. And on behalf of his family, represented here tonight by his grandson, Robert Young, thank you.